And there you have it, 20 to 9. This was not a beautiful game stat wise, I can tell you that much. But it was beautiful if you're a Bears fan because it puts you over 500 and you're saying to yourself, hey, our young quarterback's figuring it out a little bit. Our running back's injured, it didn't matter. And Allen Robinson's still not untracked. But here we are with a winning record, same as Vegas. Here's afterwards, Justin Fields with our Evan Washburn. Well, Justin, just your second road start, challenging environment, really aggressive defense. What was required to get this win? Yeah, you know, I think uh, executing on all three phases, you know, defense, offense, and special teams, and just playing through four quarters. Uh, you know, this team was good, you know, you know, in the second half, so just just finishing out the game. We saw you take that shot to the back and the ribs. You had to leave for a few plays with yeah. that leg injury. How physically challenging and taxing was this game for you? I took a few shots today, but I battled through it, so I'm just going to, you know, uh, recover this weekend, get ready for next week. What do you want to take personally from this game as you continue to develop as the starting quarterback for the Bears? Just, just keep building. Just keep going on this momentum and continue to get better each and every week. What's the potential of this offense when the running game is as effective as it was in this one? Yeah, I mean, when the running game is, is going like this, you know, we can do a lot of things on offense. So hopefully we can keep that going and, you know, keep uh, winning games. Are you enjoying yourself? I am, a lot. So having right. fun out here. Enjoy that locker room. Thanks yes, for the time. Appreciate you. All right, so here you go. Your fantasy recap is not a happy recap. It's sort of a hope you survived an advanced recap. Now, if you had either of the running backs, and it's been a running back day largely. There were some exceptions. Saquon got hurt early. did not look good. But the running backs have sort of carried the day in fantasy. Uh, Damian Williams filling in. He had a touchdown. He gave you 64. Josh Jacobs, he found the end zone, added in four grabs. So solid, if not spectacular, performances. The quarterbacks, yuck. All right, um, they're both three and two. The Bears get a win head to head. Raiders have lost two straight. But who's got the brighter future for the rest of wow. the year? The Raiders or the Bears? Spemac. I'll say the Chicago Bears, and here's why. Their division is not as competitive as the AFC West right now. I mean, you got the Chargers looking like a playoff caliber team, one of the hottest quarterbacks Does in the national I feel though like they're both the third best team in their division. You got the Lions, you got the Broncos. You got the Raiders, you got the Bears, and I would think you would say the Packers are elite and the Vikings are probably a little better, no? Better. Than, I, I think that's realistic. I think they're both the third best team in the division, but the brighter future, I think, will go to Chicago. This season. For the rest right of the now, season. this season, yes. I, I think you absolutely have to say that, and especially the immediate future. Yeah. How bright is that light? Well, you have Justin Fields, who finally is getting these starts without Matt Nagy as his play caller, with Bill Lazor as the play caller. And great things are happening for the Chicago Bears. We saw what happened against the Cleveland Browns when he had Matt Nagy in his ear calling the plays. It was bad. It was painful. And then they switched to Bill Lazor. Finally, Matt Nagy was forced to switch to Bill Lazor, whatever it may have been. And now we're starting to see that Justin Fields, the reason why the Bears traded up to get Justin Fields. And listen, EK, you mentioned it. The stat line, it wasn't pretty. He's going to complete around 50% of his passes. He's not going to pass for 300 passing yards. They don't need to do that. Finally, this defense is starting to come alive after uh, you were wondering about it early on in the season just a little bit. And now facing a Raiders team that came into this game, just dropped one, but we felt pretty good about them. They finally got a first three and out in the first quarter for the first time all season long. BMAC, the entire first quarter of every single game that the Chicago Bears have played in, they had not gotten a three and out <laughs> yeah. until today against the Raiders. Things are starting to happen for the Bears. When you talk about the future, the future is brighter for them. All right, JJ, what's going on with the Raider offense? Uh, look, the Bears, have a, uh, they're a solid defense, but there isn't the 85 Bears. And you look at a guy like, you know, the car had been averaging 400 passing yards a game. He threw for 206. Darren Waller, I I'm week one, you and I watched the game. What do you have, 19 targets in the game? I mean, it was insane. Through the ball. He had four catches for 45 yards and didn't score. I, I know it's a week-to-week -week league, and sometimes you just hit a little flat spot. But what seems different about an offense that it wasn't just that they got beat. They had a really rough day. Yeah, they did. I think that. The, the Raiders have been able to overcome some of their early ills in the first three weeks of the season, and it's finally catching up to them. Mm. You can only have slow starts for so long. You can only, right, be Mac like the Pittsburgh Steelers, you can only rush for less than 100 yards so long before it catches up to you. Mm -hmm. And so you can only go out there every single week 
and score zero points in the first quarter or three points in the first half for so long before it starts to catch up. And that's what I think we're seeing from the Raiders was that Derek Carr was able to put up MVP video game numbers mm -hmm. uh, in the first couple weeks. They had Darren Waller and they said, you know what, we're going to put some clamps on Darren Waller. You're going to have to beat us with Hunter Renfro. You're going to have to beat us with Brian Edwards. Two very good players. Justin, uh, Josh Jacobs is still a little bit banged up and you're probably not going to lead or, you know, use him to lead you to victory. But again, uh, they got a, a field goal in the first quarter today. Uh, going into this game, they only had a, an offensive, in terms of offensive points, one field goal coming into the game on, in the first quarter. When those things start to happen and start to sort of avalanche, you're not going to win very many games. Yep. I'm right there with you. I think the inability to run the football has really caught up to the Raiders. Josh Jacobs, granted, I know we all know he might not be healthy, but he has to give more. Kenyon Drake has to give more. They put so much pressure on Derek Carr, and oddly in the first three weeks of the season, he's been able to bail them out. But now everything is starting to collapse on him, and he can't handle the pressure. And Chicago Bears, their defense is sneaky good. They can play some football, especially when they're healthy on all three levels, and they were able to have a huge, huge outing today against the Raiders on the road. And I, things are looking pretty good for Chicago going forward if they can stay healthy. And if you're a Bear fan and you say, hey, listen, I think we're the second best team in the division. That's fair. You're going to get a chance to prove it. And record wise, you have a winning record. I have no problem with that. We'll see how you do going forward. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's just got to go in the win column. Also, you want pretty and in the win column? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to take you to the prettiest city in the country and a pretty win. And man, if you got a young son or daughter, this is the team you want them to be a fan of. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.